Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Try Five Guy. And in this uh, video, I'm gonna be vinyl wrapping the uh, 56 Gasser, uh, the rear seat delete that I made. Well, I'm gonna be putting the vinyl on it. I'm gonna show how I did, not all of it, but just to give you a bit of a rundown on what I did to, uh, to install the vinyl. Okay guys, so please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, I'd really appreciate it. In my garage, um, doing a, a video on the uh, rear parcel shelf uh, first for the interior that's going on the uh, 56 sedan gasser. Um, so I went ahead and made the uh, parcel shelf, just use quarter inch long one. Um, I used to use like a masonite sort of material. Um, but uh, yeah, so there it is there. I'll start doing this one next. And over here, I've got all the other panels ready to go. Um, they're the two split, um, uh, the back panel there, and there's the other split uh, floor assembly. Well, guys, I use a batting when I put vinyl on something. Uh, I just use this, uh, you know, thin um, batting and I glue both sides of it as I go, and I do it in sections. I like start in the middle, put the contact cement on, and then lay it down when it dries, but you gotta make sure it's, see that's that's starting to go a bit, but this is still tacky. So I always, you know, is, is, you can almost pick it up like that, you know what I mean? And then it's pretty well ready to go. And then I just, uh, just get it, and I just push it over. You know, pull it over the whole panel like that, and then just uh, you know get all, add all the all the creases like that. And then once the batting's on, doesn't have to look pretty. Just as long as you got all the wrinkles out of it. Once you got all the wrinkles out of it, it, should stick nicely. I just get a razor blade and I just trim away the the access around here. So there's that. All right, guys, here's another one with the batting already down, all glued on, ready to go. So that's ready for the uh, for the vinyl to go on. And again, I just dab some glue on it halfway. So I go sort of like, sort of like halfway there, fold that over half. So your, the black vinyl section will be over that way. And then I just glue uh, this half first on both the both sides, let it tack off then pull it across, do the other side, and then I flip it over and, um, you know, glue the edges and pull back. But don't pull it back too much because sometimes um, you'll pull the vinyl too much and you'll see like tiny, tiny little wrinkles and it looks terrible. Um, I just flipped it around so you can see um, what I'm doing here. I just leave it an inch and a half around for like a flange so I've got enough material. And then um, what I do is, uh, I've always put a paper clip so I can turn it around. And I'll show you what I do next. I've glued both sides of it. I'm gonna wait till it gets tacky. It's still very soft at the moment. As you can see, there it is there. Now, I know I haven't glued the edges up properly. Don't forget, I've gotta pull it around the board. So um, I just retouch up all the edges anyway and do the, the other side of the board. So that's the one half. So, um, I do one half, I pull it this way, and then I start on that side, that section there. I do the exact same what you see here, and then I pull it that way, um, and then pull. And then when I flip it over, I'll show you that. I flip it over and I glue around the edges, and then I pull it, I pull it this way around, um, if you know what I mean, and you'll see what I mean anyway. All right, and the glue I use is, I don't really use this a, a lot, but it's, um, it's just contact cement. It have used the, um, you know, Landu tops that, that what they use on those, um, super expensive, I think about 50 bucks. And to be honest, that's just as good at 30 bucks. So. All right, guys, so I've done the first half. It's all glued. Here's the second half. So all that is all done. Then what I do is, you gotta make sure, see how it's lifting up? It's gotta be sticky, cause that's gotta to stick to this. So all I do is, I just push down lightly so it's in, and it won't really stick yet. Just be careful, and just I just start pushing it like that. Pushing it out, pushing the, uh, all the air bubbles and what, well they're not air bubbles, but if you know what I mean, I push all the, the, 
the vinyl out like that. You like that? Yeah. You'll get it all nice and neat and just keep pushing it, pushing it down, pushing it down. And you'll see it, it'll come out. See that? Like that. But don't push too much. You don't want to wrinkle it. You just got to push it nicely, you know? And that's it. Don't forget, when we turn it over, when we turn this over, we're gonna we're gonna pull pull this excess. We're gonna pull this excess around. So sort of like that. And you see how that gets nice and tight, and that'll tighten up everything. So yeah, just make sure you get most of all the wrinkles out of the middle, and don't be too concerned around the edges because they'll pull out just like that. Alright, guys. So so what you do is you flip it over, and you just obviously do the one and a half inches around the board, and just paste both sides of it like I've done now or paint both sides not paste we're not in kindergarten but uh yeah just do both sides make sure it's nice and clean uh, make sure you don't have any debris around there uh any you know like uh any batting or any loose uh, vinyl and then uh let it dry let it tack up and i'll show you how to um i'll show you how to fold it in the way i do it anyway all right i'll be back okay guys so i've got all the um the back's all folded back over. Just remember, don't pull too hard because what will happen is if you pull it really, really hard, the panel will, will start wanting to flex like it's doing. Can you see that? But that's okay because by the time it goes into the car, it'll straighten out. But uh, yeah, that's from pulling on it. That was perfectly straight, but it's not bad at all. So that's it there, and here's the reverse side. It's a bit dirty, but you know, still got to give it a bit of a, a spray down. But anyway, there it is there. I mean, it's come up good. Uh, yeah, so it's just a plain black uh, 150 delete um, inner panel for, for a gasser. The, uh, when I put in the uh, parcel shelf um, board, I always use these um, like Velcro. These aren't Velcro, but they're very similar. Like that will click into here and they're super 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 strong it's actually too much but because it's plywood and it doesn't bend like masonite you really do need them um so yeah so that's all ready to go in position or never fly away or never never uh move it's they're, they're pretty good so uh, that's what i use and that just basically clicks into position when you get close so uh there you go hey guys sorry about the camera setup but uh that's the best i can do to show you these are the center post, um, upper center post, um, sort of like uh, uh, trim pieces. They're gonna be black, usually same color as your headliner, or they would be. So um, so they sit, you know, if I'm sitting in the car, they're around about there, you know, where your door is, if that's. Uh, these simply glue to uh, the material. I've already got them pre-cut out here. And there's the uh, headliner material on this side, and I've already pre-glued pre um, some of the glue already on this side here. And what I do is, I uh, I do the trim side just a, like a half inch or so down and I'll do the whole back. And likewise here, I do the half inch and the whole back and I'm gonna lay that down on here. So obviously the one with all the glue that's all the way down faces downwards. I center it on, on, the, on the actual material, sit it down and I've got both of them ready to go. So I'll just do both, there's one down there. Here's the other one, as I said, it's glued already and uh, and the half, I'm gonna have a bit more than half there, but, and then this one here, I'll show you again, it's all, just half of it's glued. Half inch on the material, probably can't see it, the angle I'm at, but it's half inch, you leave half inch material on it, like so. So basically it looks like that, remember the the material's glued, the backboard is glued, and half inch overhang for that, okay? And then what you do then, and I'll show you on this one, because I've already got this one set up, is you just fold, fold that top half over, all right? And so it's like that, and at the same time, flip this material over and stretch it, stretch it over that, so the material is on that, like that, so it's glued, so that, section is now glued because you've done both sides of that you see that make sure there's no wrinkles on it and then i'll come back and i'll show you what to do next all right guys so once you get the um 
the inside, well, the face edge uh, all glued down, and that's nice and tight. Um, you glue, and here's that half inch section that I've got over. You start gluing this side here with the contact cement, and then also on this side as well. So the material side, the same width as this, and, and this side here. And then you would, um, you, you would push that over. But before you do that, make sure you tuck in uh, these tabs. But before you do that, <laughs> I'll get to it, is that you've got to cut this on a 45 degree angle, both sides. See, I've left this one um, not cut yet, but see, that'll that'll fold over like that, nice and tight, pull it nice and tight, right? Push it in like that, here you go, right? And this side here, well, obviously you're gonna have too much material, so there's too much material there, but if you slot that there, about half inch, and I'll show you that. Give me one second, just trying to get myself organized. So just take off a, a good half inch, like that. Then when you get to about half inch before that end, you know, with a cut, just cut that on a 45 degree angle. I hope you guys can see that. If you can't, I apologize, but half on a 45 degree you know, angle. Put your finger on it like that and pick it up and it won't shake off your hand. That's when you know it's pretty re it's pretty ready and it, uh, you have trouble getting it off. Now get it. I'll get the material and pull it nice and tight. Try not to get any wrinkles over it or in it. And you put it over like that. Try not to get any glue on the uh, on the face of the, because uh, that's, this side here is the material side. So just make sure you get it all out. Make, and if you do get a bit, a little bit of glue, don't go rubbing it off. It'll come off if you just rub your finger on it lately. Like I've done it, I put a little bit of glue there, but I'll get it off. So it'll look like this, see that? And I'll just do the other one. Okay guys, um, they're both made. Hope you understood what I'm uh, talking about. If you don't, please uh, just comment and, and I'll be more than happy to, uh, you know, have it maybe an overhead sort of video of it, but they're pretty straightforward. Um, there they are there, they're both made. Now, these are gonna be sitting on the pillow like that, right beside you like that, and see how I've got this area here, this little tab, that's what gets stapled to the um, tack strip on, on the, uh, on the pillow. Just roll that edge up, to just give it a little bit of uh, strength, and, and you can sew that edge over if you wanted to, but I don't, I just run some staples down there, it ain't gonna move. And this side here is where the uh, garnish molding will yeah. sit. I'll, I'll show you anyway on the, uh, the next take I'll do, uh, how the garnish molding uh, sits hey guys, on there. These are just about done. Uh, the corners, the back corner ones, and uh, like I said, glue all the back, glue these edges, and just uh, nice and tight, fold them over. Fold them over. I'll just uh, go ahead and fold some of it over. Right now. So I've just done half of it. And there you go. That's what it looks like on the reverse side. Like that. In the end, and just do the rest of it and uh, you're good to go. So guys, there you have it. One, two, they're for the back corners, that's for the passenger side rear. And the other two things I made are for the pillars, they're both identical. So there you go. Two of those, one for this side, one for that Guys, side. Thanks uh, for watching the vinyl installation on the uh, rear seat delete. And the vinyl I use is, uh, it's pretty thick. I just, just wanted to show, give you a close up. You know, it's pretty thick and durable. It's not just thin stuff. Uh, um, this is just, I, I every time I see it on, a We've got a local uh, surplus store here in town or a couple of towns over and uh, they get it in sometimes and I always buy, try to get a roll of it. I'm looking to see if I've got some, but um, I do have some but with the moving and the packing, uh, I put a lot of things away. But that, there it is there and uh, you know, it's a, a cheap way uh, if, you can, if you're pretty handy at doing it yourself. Have a go guys, it's pretty easy. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching guys and please like and subscribe and uh, check out my, uh, my latest videos that are coming up pretty soon. So thanks guys, bye.